caught in the crossfire. Whoever sees this one, this is a live that you're probably going to remember. I'm not going to get crazy in this, but as you can see, I'm kind of dressed up in a certain costume here, okay? Well, loveys, it is Easter Eve, and uh, I'm that's when I'm starting this. Hopefully, I'll have it up today. <laughs> um, I... Uh, I got as many videos as I could um, since the one that I posted yesterday. The ones I haven't covered yet, I recorded them all. Um, so I'm going to have to break it up into three different ones because I, I guess I just recorded them all at once. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I can't wait to hear the reason why he has this outfit on. <laughs> and happy Easter Eve, my lovies. I'm dressed up in a costume because there's somebody in my life or that was in my life that appeared to be a benevolent uh, a benevolent person in my life. So you mean to tell me that you got dressed up in this get up <laughs> because of because uh, you want to make a live about G-Man? This is what you went with? This outfit? Oh, yikes. Cringy. Wonder how those clothes smell, considering that they don't have a washer or dryer and they've never asked for laundry detergent ever. Wonder, wonder how those clothes smell. It appeared that way. But as we know... What's up, Amy Joy? What's up? Hey, what's up, bling and things? As we know, in this weird, I believe now fully, because I was just writing in, uh, I called it the Diary of Metatron, okay? What's up? Uh, I called it the Diary of Metatron because I'm starting to embrace what's up, 86 Dame? What's up? Um, I'm starting to embrace fully the understanding of with the Hebrew Israelites. He has a good cause there. You support that brother. And my, me and my wife did that. I eventually got all the paperwork done and the house in Scranton was his, which he ended up selling for upwards of $160,000. Now, you have two people that provided for you. That being me and my wife. We provided shelter for you when you were homeless. We didn't just provide some place for you to be for a week or two. Stop it, stop it. You sold that house of your mother's that she left to you for a dollar. And he went in there and he fixed it all up, didn't he? He made it look so nice. And you are so pissed off because you and your dumb girlfriend ran through almost a million dollars in two to three years. You would have had that house. You would have had a place to live. But you sold it to G-Man for a dollar. It's rightfully his to sell, and you don't deserve a cent of what he sells it for. Got it, Jason? No glasses come off. We oh, shit. The glasses are coming off. It must be serious, guys. It must be super duper serious if the glasses are coming off. He didn't provide it for just a week or two. We said, in Christ... Our dwelling is now yours. That's what we did, me and my girl. 
Because we saw a Christian in need, and when there's a Christian in need, you act. And if you don't act, what kind of fucking Christian are you? This is where it comes in that you start talking about people like, let's say, okay, you're going to start saying this is satanic, and I love it, okay? Metal has, is bought out for Christ now, if you haven't noticed. Okay. Uh -huh, baby. They're in. That's because Christ went to the streets. He went to the byways and highways out there in metal concerts and shit. He goes to Head and Corn and goes, hey, buddy, I'm real. And Head's like, wow, Lord. And he comes to his fucking knees. And now his life is all about Jesus Christ and being baptized and having people baptized. And he's amazing. I got a word for Gary. You want to make this right? Because I do. We are suffering on a level you can't believe right now. We're, we're, we're in a state that, that every month is a struggle to feed ourselves. It's really that point. Struggling to feed yourselves, but you still get food stamps and you always have cigarettes. So make it make sense, Jason. Nobody owes you a damn thing. And that includes G-Man. I want people to understand that we had pure hearts when we gave that to the man, to this man that I'm talking about, Gary Lamont. Uh, oh, no, that's not true. Um, Shani wanted to move to Colorado because weed was legal there then, and you went right along with it. Um, you even said that yourself. More. We were... Two imperfect Christians hearing the call of a guy in need. That's a good brother. That's what we thought. There is no universe that exists, Gary, where what happened is okay in the eyes of God. You sold that property for $160,000. I bless that and it's yours. However, there is property that I want back. And I think this is fair. Everybody analyze this. I'm calling on Dragnot. I'm calling on Jules. I'm calling on all of you guys, Frank. I'm calling on Frank. Frank, I've been real, real rough to you in the past. I want to let that shit go. I'm sorry that, like, I've said some really horrible things about you in the geek room, and it's, like, over-the-top bad shit. So I, I ask for forgiveness from him. Anyway. Exactly. Exactly. You did do those things. You did say those things. And you let your disgusting girlfriend cackle at the death of one of their friends. And the fact, if Frank does choose to forgive you... He's a better person than I am because I wouldn't forgive you or her for that. I want Frank to look at this and analyze this situation. Let me let me put it down for you. Dragnot, Jules, Frank. Let's put the full fucking picture right in front of you. Because this has been bothering me real bad. And I know what this book says about people like Gary. This book, the Holy Scripture, I know what this book says about people like this. He, we had an Ananias and Sapphira thing going when we took the house back from him. Now, he is in the position we were in. And he's failing miserably. If he was never in the position you were in. He was never gifted uh, close to a million dollars. He was never gifted a house. You were just so flush with money, you didn't give a fuck. You guys are the reason you're in your position. He's never going to be in the position you are because he's smarter than you guys. It's much smarter. Fell right into that and benefited him tremendously. And now you're stuck at Uncle Tommy's house. <laughs> that must suck for you.
That must suck to know that you had a whole house, probably your childhood home. You sold it for a dollar. A dollar. You could have gone with the money that you had. You could have had that property fixed up. What went and bought your own house that you and Shani actually wanted to raise those boys in that you couldn't take care of, but I digress. And you would have been getting an income from the house that you were renting to pay for the mortgage that you just had. And you could have, you could have been a multimillionaire by now. If anyone ever gave me the amount of money that your mother left you, I would be a multimillionaire by this point. Okay. Let that sink in, Jason. If you want to make this right at all, Gary, this is what you said to me. Anytime you want, you just, you, whatever, uh, I'll be in contact with you. You could just, when, uh, we'll set up a time for you to get your stuff. Yeah. It's time now because I'm, it's been really, really ragging on me. Yeah, I bet it is. Ragging on you is not the proper word. Bothering you because you want any little thing that you can probably make money off of. You're so desperate that it's really been bothering you that Gary has stuff of yours because you want that shit back so you can sell it and you can make money off of it because you're too lazy to get a goddamn job. So let's hear these items that we're demanding back from G-Man, shall we? So here, you want to make this right, Gary? Because I know in your spirit it's not right. That's why you came to me and you said, oh, it's your, my sister was making me do it. Hey, you, you make anybody, who, who can make you do anything, G? Nobody can make you do anything. People know that about you. You're, a stubborn, you're as stubborn as a fucking ox. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing. You're just setting your ways and that's the way it is with you. So fine. Oh, he's setting his ways, but you're not setting yours, right? That's why you're almost 40 and you have never yet to have a job and refuse to get one. You know in your spirit that you had two people that literally gave you a house for a dollar. And now we're destitute, horribly destitute due to multiple reasons. But I would at least be able to sell that house if I didn't give it to you. And I, me and her would be in a, we'd be, be in our own apartment and, and I'd have some resources where I could have a. What you are failing to comprehend is that it was your choice to sell that house for one fucking dollar. That's your decision. That's not his fault. That's on you. Take some goddamn ownership for it, you loser. You would have an apartment. You would have a whole house right now in your name and be renting that other house out for uh, income. Extra income, you stunad. You'd own a home and you'd be getting money from a rental. Then you could flip that house and get another rental. You could be a multimillionaire. But you're a fucking idiot who thinks you can live in an apartment if he would have given you back that house. Fuck you. You sold it for a dollar and it's his now. Sorry, he gets all the money for it, and he's not giving you shit. Live with that. Sleep at night knowing that's what you did. It's all on you. Stable job that I could definitely uh, not get fired from because of my bipolar. Uh, here's the problem with that statement, and I would know because I have a um, an education in psychology, which I will happily bust out for anyone that wants to challenge me on that. Anybody can get a job, have a career, and live a very normal life with bipolar if it was managed correctly by medication. However, you don't have bipolar or you would have been on disability and then you wouldn't have to work because you would not be able to. You are a fucking liar. Where is any diagnosis that you have bipolar? Is it bipolar 1 or bipolar 2? Do you know the difference? Let's see. Rev, let's see if you know. Because you're talking at your ass, as usual. Another excuse why you can't work. You can't work because you're a lazy sack of shit with no skills, no education, and no job history. I know what happened at Burger King. I know that you got fired because of your hygiene. I know that for a fact. 33 people. God bless y'all in here. 23? 23. Sorry, 23. God bless you. Thanks for the hearts. We provided. We just gave it. Freely. Did you have us in your house for a little while? 
feeding us ramen noodles until we die, almost were dead? Yeah. Watermelon? Hi, watermelon. I've been literally feeling like in my spirit that this guy needs a spiritual even flow DDT fucking Raven style. I take the I take the fucking steel chair and I smash your fucking face off it. Spiritually. Spiritually, you're gonna take a metal chair and smash his face off? <laughs> are you in your WWE character right, right now? Because it seems like you are. You delusional fuck. Even flow. One, two, three in the ring, G. You're fucking done. I knew it. I called it. <laughs> I knew, I knew this was a WWE, uh, moment for, uh, good old, good old Revy Rev. How fucking embarrassing are you? Here's what I want. I want my mini PlayStation back with the PlayStation games. I want my N64 back with the N64 EverDrive. I want my Genesis back with the Genesis EverDrive. I want my... Shanny... Blazers, the Star Wars game. Shani wants uh, Jedi Fallen Order back. Shani wants her GameCube back with all the games. Okay? You stole that from us. <laughs> you stole that from us. Oh, like you stole money from people telling them that you had cancer and that you were dying and that your children didn't deserve to watch you die. That like like that's like that kind of stealing, Shannon, you disgusting pigs. How dare you? You ain't getting any of that shit back. And it's sad to me that those are your priorities. A GameCube, my mini PlayStation, all the games. Go get fucked. You go get fucked. He doesn't owe you shit. Doesn't owe you a damn thing. If you didn't blow through your inheritance, you could have replaced it. Yo, losers. You're more concerned about video game shit than you are actually making it in life. You'll sit up in that fucking disgusting house, smoke it out, and never wash it. It probably reeks of urine and the smell of you too. And yet, you're more concerned about video game shit that g-man may or may not have anymore hopefully he pawned it or sold it and then took that money and put it into the house that he just sold and made a nice pretty penny on enjoy that it's called fucking karma and it's a motherfucking bitch that's it g this is theft because you never called me to try and set up a day to come and get stuff now's the time i Take a list, because this is serious for your spirit. If you do this, I, you'll be cool with God. Because it will it will show that you have a modicum, a little bit of respect. Just a little. Respect is earned. It's not just given. And nobody respects you. Neither one of you. And nobody owes you shit. Why don't you make a list of the things you have to do to be an actual man instead of a man-child inside of a little boy's body? Grow the fuck up. For the two people that kept you off the street. And gave you a house And for gave free. you a house for a dollar. Which oh, I'm so happy this happened to you too. I'm so happy. I love seeing you so angry, Jason. It makes me happy. It gives me butterflies. Which then I return to you, the dollar. Has ever anybody ever talked to you like this, Gary, in your life? I suspect there has been. Oh, you give me a response video for sure, and I'll probably watch that one. And you want to try and equate the stuff that you gave us to a $160,000 house. I'm not a fucking idiot. You're so salty. You are so salty. He redid that whole house, and you are a fucking idiot. <laughs>
<laughs> you said it right. You are a fucking idiot. You gave us fucking pennies in comparison to what you got, and you know it. Again, Shani wants Jedi Fallen Order back, and she wants her GameCube with her games. I want my mini PlayStation back with all the PlayStation games. I want my N64 with the EverDrive, and I want my Genesis with the EverDrive, and the NES with the EverDrive. Or what? What the fuck is your skinny, measly ass going to do about it? Not a motherfucking thing. Not a motherfucking thing. And our Star Wars lightsabers. Yeah, and our lightsabers. So me and Jason could <laughs> play Star Wars at night. <laughs> Take those lightsabers and shove it up your ass. Does he have them? Yes. And the lightsabers. Take a fucking list of it. And I want I want you to get your buddy, whoever he is, set up a time, load up the back of his car, and you drop it off at the address that you were at oh, last. Oh, our air fryer. If you have the air fryer, we want that too. You get that guy and you load that shit up into, that, into his car. You come to this place, you put it on the porch, knock on the door, and leave. You really... You really are very entitled, aren't you? You are the typical spoiled only child brat. And you haven't matured since the age of 12. You stole our stuff. You have stolen our so much. But at least this, we want at least this back. Because right now you're a thief in the eyes of God. And thieves... You know real good this book, right, G? Thieves do not inherit the kingdom of God, period. So where does that leave you and Shannon? Because you two are thieves, amongst other horrific things that if you believe would that wouldn't get you into the kingdom of God, what do you think about the things you've done to people? You think you're getting into the kingdom of God? You think you're above anyone, you and Shani? You two are, if anyone has a handbasket on their way to hell, it's you and your fucking girlfriend. So you might as well start decorating that handbasket because it's all, and get it all ready for hell because that's where you two are going since that's what your belief system is. You will have no place in the kingdom of God if you do not do this for my wife who helped you and myself. You're up. Last I checked, you were in fucking God. You don't get to say who gets into heaven and who doesn't. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth before you embarrass yourself any further. Okay? You don't get to make that decision. Who the fuck are you? Rev. Rev. Revelation news. You're no preacher. You're no reverend. You're a jackass. Unrepentant thief. You must repent. You must repent to Jesus for your thievery. I get, I'm not even asking for the Neo Geo and the games, which is worth probably over $2,500. A Neo Geo with at least 15 games. I'm not. I don't know about these gaming systems, so anybody. Uh in the chat that knows what he's talking about please let me know if there's any any validation to anything he's saying but does anyone else find it odd that this is what he's concerned about this, these are their concerns video game shit but they're the first ones that come in. we haven't eaten in days we have no food our ebt ran out but you're worried about game systems Shh. Oh my god oh my god not even asking for that. I gave that to you in love. It's like he was like, "Oh man, a Neo Geo in the box. This is amazing." Yeah, I got a real good deal on that shit. But that was the most expensive thing I bought. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, buddy. I saw your reaction. It's yours. I'm not even asking for that.
What you did to us is wrong and you know it. When you came here the one time, you should have had fucking $800 in your pocket for us. $800 for you for what? For what? What does G-Man owe you $800 for, you grifting fucking loser? I'm not a greedy man, but I am a man. Uh, you're not even a man, but you're a very greedy little boy. You're extremely greedy. That's why you are so entitled to other people's money that go out and work really hard for it. And then you just expect them to hand it over to you. We all get that people have times of need. But uh, yours has gone on for three years now and you haven't done a damn thing to change it. So. man that recognizes injustice. The way that you have treated us, the two people that gave you a roof when you were homeless... The way you have treated us is an anathema to Christ. Your knees should be fucking buckling. Oh my God, he's going to destroy me. Yeah. Are your knees buckling, child abuser? Are your knees buckling, prostitute seeker? Are your knees buckling, you scam artist? Not only did you take advantage of two people that loved you in Christ, but you spit on them with disgusting videos like these haters that you used to gossip about every second you were with us. Your behavior has been absolutely anathema to Jesus Christ. Huh? Look at me, I'm real big, tough, big, 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 yeah, look at me, I'm fucking G-Man, look at me, I'm such a tough motherfucker. You're a fucking bitch in the eyes of God. Only a fucking bitch would treat people that gave you a dwelling and you sold for a hundred and sixty fucking thousand dollars. You're an anathema to Christ. He wouldn't even look at you. You do a response to this. Because I'll see you break in your eyes when you see when you hear these words from my mouth. You know it's true. Yoshi. I'm sorry. But this has been brewing. I feel it in my backbone, right in the fucking... I could, I could literally fucking knock out a, a 6'4", 250 pound guy right now. I'm so angry. I'd be like Tyler Durden. Hit me again. Put a fucking laugh at him. Hit me again. That's all you got? Fucking loser. This is fucking embarrassing. What the fuck was that? Was he punching his own hand? <laughs> Calling G-Man a loser? G-Man would whoop you, son. I can break your kneecap. I'm done with this bullshit. Oh, no. He's serious, folks. He's gonna break G-Man's kneecap. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd like to see that. I don't know if it's apathy, the spirit of apathy. Is it the spirit of entitlement? Do you think you were entitled to that $160,000 house, G-Man? Yeah, jackass. He does think that because you signed the deed over for a dollar. That is all his money. You're bad. You're a mistake. Now you need it. He didn't take shit from you. You gave it to him. <laughs> it's funny how karma works. Huh? Because if you do feel that way, if you feel like you were entitled to have that house, I sure do wonder why. Huh? Is that like your fucking testimony that you found a you found a safe in front of some person's house and you just took it and fucking cracked it because it's mine now? And that's my testimony for God.
that I found a fucking safe with money in it. Is that your testimony? Well, that's nice, G, and I would never mock a testimony of any kind. But your actions... Huh? You know you're wrong. You know you're a scumbag. You know you're a piece of fucking trash. You know it. I never thought I would say this. I, I, I never thought I would say this type of shit about the guy. Because I really loved him in my heart as a brother. We had all these cool videos, you know. Oh, come on, Rev, and I'm in the background. Yeah, what's up, brother? You know, all this shit. Bullshit. Act. Let me farm some f fucking views because these people on TikTok, Rev and Shani on TikTok, has 48.5 million fucking hits on her name. And you think for some reason that you have some kind of um, entitlement to that. Anything on TikTok or any other social platform that people have, have reacted to you, it's all negative. Is it that all of us are wrong or you think maybe it's you guys? I'm going with the latter. That you think that you're entitled to it. You're not. Did you know that? Go look it up. Search term on TikTok. Rev and shit. We don't even fucking use TikTok. 48.5 million searches. What the fuck is that? And we're destitute. That's a fucking country. We're fucking destitute because we gave and we gave and we gave and then we gave more. We gave to a bunch of people and they were all ungrateful. I I anybody that might not like this or might be offended by what you're hearing because you might be a G-Man fan or some shit. I'm sorry. I apologize to you. For him. Okay? I will apologize to you for him. I have nothing to apologize for because I am just a fucking white privileged kid that really does believe in Jesus like a lot. And I like to try and mimic something that he would do if he lived in, in me. I hear a brother that I love deeply that taught great things. Okay? Correction on doctrine to, to men in the street uh, that like to victimize women. Uh, white women, specifically. Okay? Uh, they're teaching doctrine that's just absolutely, once again, anathema to Jesus. Okay? We don't victimize women in Christianity. You get it? Sorry, doing a little aerobic as I stand. That's always a good thing. Do you understand what I mean, though? If you'd like to donate to me and Shani... Uh. <laughs> there's one person uh, recently... Look at this dude. Here. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, if you would like to donate to me and Shani, our cash app is cash tag. I'm sorry. We can't hear you, Revy. We don't know what your tags are to pay you anything. So, I can't hear you. In the future, when we have, more, I get some money, then I can get a computer myself. I could get a decent mic that's cheap because you could get some amazing USB mics now that sound incredible. No one's buying you a microphone. No one's sending you enough money to buy a microphone. Okay, you had one. You left it in Colorado. You slobs. Pretty cheap. Computer microphone. I'm doing Howard Stern Christian style, okay? I will do the Howard Stern thing, but Christian. First of all, you can't be anything like Howard Stern Christian style. That doesn't even, this is, that's not even a thing. Secondly, uh, I guess you put your hat back on after that, that bang pull down that you did because you realize that your receding hairline is very noticeable. <laughs> You're nice, okay? Where we're cool, 
we talk about Jesus, we love Jesus, we love prophecy, we look to the sky, wait for him. Revelation News Podcast, baby, featuring Shani for Christ. (laughs) Revelation News featuring Shani for Christ. And the Reverend Dude. I can't use that, really. No, I'm just me. Reverend Jason E. Groff. Featuring Shani for Christ and Reverend Jason E. Groff. Revelation News Podcast. That We're going to do that. And part of the thing will be, you know, we'll do gaming and stuff like that, too. That's what we, I want that future. I want to do that. But if you'd like to donate, there's a cash app. You know me, loveys. Uh, He's just spouting off his many, many different ways that you can send him and Shani money. And uh, I just, you know, we can't hear him. Can you guys hear him, loveys? Anyone hear him? Nope, I don't hear anything. I don't hear the spelling. I don't care about your Venmo. Don't care about your cash app. Don't care about your cat's cash app. Okay? All right. The best boy. Oh, my God. Here's the boy. Oh, we're going to show the boy because he's so cute and we love the baby boy. Look at how beautiful his eyes are. Isn't he the most handsome? Hi, Gucci Trolls. Yeah, I got a PayPal. Gavin Kit Kat. I could put it here. Here, thank you, Cap Cap. Thank you. God bless you. At Yeah. Hang on. I gotta put the boy down. Sorry, guys. This is, like, ridiculous. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees, Lord. Hang on a second. Thank you. I'm, I just thank you so much. I'm gonna close it like this. Whoa, that looks like you're coming down. Is that dust? What was that? Oh, I'm sure it's dust, filth, and cigarette nicotine-stained furniture surrounding you because you're slobs go back and clip that did you see that guys we don't need to clip shit you fucking loser we don't give a fuck your house is filthy we we saw how you left your old home you're s- disgusting two disgusting human beings slobs dirty unhygienic should i keep going i'd love to get a glimpse of uh the cat's litter box at this point in time, because do they ever ask for kitty litter? Nah, they just let the, they just let their cat shit in the bathtub. Shani and I have been in the paranormal. We, I'm gonna watch this back. That was crazy. Nice to see you having fun. I'm trying, you know, Gucci trolls. Th- but this was very serious in my heart, and I had to get it out. Love the Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah, we love Gavin too. If you give to that one, we'll probably get him some fish with it, depending on. You know what? I just lean a little bit of money, guys. Like. Because I want to get a coffee maker, you know. Drinks are a problem because we're always in need of money for food. And then it's drinks because the water here is weird. It's really strange. It dries your mouth out. I know they say that's a sign of diabetes, but neither one of us are diabetic. Shani's not a diabetic. Was she tested for diabetes? Do you have a diagnosis that she's not diabetic? I didn't think so. If she were diabetic, she could get Ozempic, but she can't right now. Because she's not diabetic. Uh, no. Actually, Ozempic is for people much, much smaller than Shannon. Shannon needs bariatric surgery. Facts. That, that's a fact. Ozempic wouldn't do shit for Shannon. Stop it. So, thank you for the help. Anything you do, you're awesome. I appreciate you. But we really did. Shani and I gave of ourselves. Like a lot, guys. And yes, G-Man did help us out. And, you know, he said he was frustrated that neither one of us wanted to work and stuff like that. And that's just not true. We did not want to work. Okay? We wanted to find... Well, I can speak for myself, but Shani is just disabled. No, Shani is not fucking disabled. She's not disabled or she'd be getting disability from the state. She doesn't qualify for disability, meaning she's not disabled. She's just obese and lazy. 
And your pathetic ass couldn't even make it two months at Burger King because your hygiene is so poor that they fired you because you stink. Okay? She literally needs, like, medical care and help. I help her with washing and stuff. She needs a nurse, really. But I I have experience because I, I, I the last three years of my mom's life, I was taking care of her in a lot of ways like that. Like, washing her feet if she needed her feet washed or something like that. You know what I mean? I was doing that with my mom. Your mother, may she rest in peace, truly had cancer. She died of cancer, and I am very, very sorry for that, and my condolences. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Shannon lied about having cancer. Shannon needs her ass wiped. Pretty sure you weren't doing that for your mom. When she was dying of cancer, and I didn't even know she had cancer. <laughs> anyway... I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I heard the Lord's call and I didn't want a man to be on the street. And we were pretty mistreated by this man. So I pray that you repent, Gary, and do what I said. Just drop off my stuff. Drop off my stuff on the front porch where you know it is. You know the place. We're still here. Ah, that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it fun getting getting to see Jason all dressed up in his in his tough guy gear? He's gonna break Gary's kneecaps. That sounds like a threat. Jason, I don't think you should be threatening anyone with your criminal history. <laughs> um so uh apparently um, in order to be monetized, I can have memberships, which don't make any sense, does not make any sense to me. But I don't have a thanks button anymore. But I'm not unmonetized, but I'm not monetized, if that makes any sense. I don't get paid by YouTube. Um, I have a uh, cash app. And I could really, 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 really use any donation that you can spare because it's not for me. Um, I don't need beg. Um, it is for Bags of Love. It is the spring edition. <laughs> I have all of the pictures of all of the bags that I have all, all ready to get dropped off, except I have a second shelter. The other one was Madonna Heights. Um, and she was great. And I have, I have, uh, bags for them. And now I have, um, decided to go on to making bags for men as well. So um, if anybody feels compelled to donate to me, since I don't make any money on these videos and I spend a lot of my time that I don't really have putting them together because I know you guys, I enjoy making them. I know you guys enjoy watching them, um, but it's a lot of work and I don't ever want to be somebody that e-bags and says, well, you owe me money because I, no, nobody owes me anything. This is for a charity. That's where it will go. Um, my cash app is a uh, dollar sign ballerina 81. And if you want to donate to me, put charity in. Um, I will make sure to, um, Whatever you send, um, I will make sure to show you what was purchased with it. I have to make a uh, another drop-off, not next weekend, but the following weekend. And I have to do, I have to now include like men's supply stuff that I didn't do before. I only did women's shelters. Um, that one women's shelter, I just dropped off the last of my winter stuff. Now it's getting warmer in New York and now I'm going to need other things like I have a list of I like I have a list of of items that I request. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with cash shopping me for the charity, which I totally get because <laughs> what have we learned here that people fucking scam everyone? Um, I have I have no desire to uh, fall in line with those people, but um, I would really appreciate it if you do not want to send actual money you don't have to um but you can reach me on um instagram uh it's ella underscore tallulah 
and I will include it in the description of this video. You can message me there and I will give you my address. And you, if you want to send something, if you want to Amazon something um, from the list for the homeless shelter, um, that would that works as well. I don't I, I just never want to come off as an e-baker. <laughs> I think that's my biggest concern. But I do need help with my charity because I can't do both. I can't work and, and do everything else and keep this running. And I would really hate to lose it. So I'm gonna go work on video number two of Shani. Um it's it's uploading right now and this will be uploading shortly. And um yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend and I will be back soon. Love you guys.